Hi, David Leaf of the James Bond dossier here. Um, I saw something on the YouTube show, uh, The Hot Mic, the other day, and it was interesting because it basically confirmed my thinking, and that was um, Jeff Snyder was uh, talking Bond 26, he's an uh, entertainment writer, and he was saying basically something that I've said on several occasions uh, previously, and that was that uh, an actor won't be chosen as the new Bond until a director has been picked, and uh, it was kind of speculation, but he was suggesting that maybe uh, it is Christopher Nolan's uh, time to uh, direct Bond. Um, I'll come to that in a moment, but um, you know, he, he was saying that he has been told that Barbara, Barbara Broccoli is, quote, not rushing for anybody. Um, Amazon, obviously, they bought MGM. Uh, you can imagine that they want to get a new Bond film into production as soon as possible. But uh, Barbara Broccoli has shown before uh, that uh, it's no use pressurizing her. Eon works at Eon's pace. Uh, Sony tried it when they were when they put out a, a press announcement saying that they were aiming for a, a new film every two years, and uh, there was immediate immediate pushback uh, from uh, Broccoli. Then um, she was basically basically saying that yeah, well uh, they can wish for that, but it's happening when it's happening. So. Uh, Amazon is applying pressure. I think that's, you know, it's obvious that uh, we understand why they want to get uh, some return from the crown jewel in their investment in MGM. But, uh, um, you know, but Snyder, he was saying what I have pretty much always said, that a director has to be on board before they start casting. And, uh, you know, it's because it, when they've cast a new Bond, uh, certainly with um, Daniel Craig and before that with Pierce Brosnan, uh, the director, which both times was Martin Campbell, was involved in the in the casting decision. So you know it, it makes sense that he has a vision of how he wants the film to go. Eon obviously they um, they have uh, you know a certain amount of creative control over it, obviously, and uh, they're involved in that. But you know it, if somebody comes into the film and makes it their own film which I think probably, you know, is, that's the role of the director, then they want, they want to uh, have some kind of input in to who will uh, play Bond for the, for the next few films. Um, and talking about Nolan, I want to stress again, I th this is pure speculation, but he says that uh, Nolan is finishing his latest film, Oppenheimer, and uh, after that, as far as he is aware, he is, his diary is clear. And Christopher Nolan has expressed a desire to, um, to, to shoot a, a Bond film before and to, to direct a Bond film before. And uh, I think maybe he said that he would be interested in introducing a, a new Bond. So uh, clearly that would be Bond 26. Um, Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, so it was just really that sequence of events that, I'm going to say this again, director on board, then the actor. And so we're still some way off for an actor being announced, whatever the tabloids may say. Um, really look out for a director announcement before that. Um, the, uh, Snyder is talking about a writer-director like, like Nolan. Uh, I don't know if that will be the case or not. Uh, we'll see. Uh, the other person they were talking about is Denis Villeneuve. Uh, again, we'll see. Um, it's, it, 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 I think the only people who can know who they are considering at the moment are um, the top brass at E.ON, but I think you know, maybe this year we will get some news of a director, and you know that's the that's the, really the first sign that things are moving on Bond 26. Uh, if we're going to see 
a Bond film in a couple of years or, or so, hopefully no longer. Okay.